James Wallace. This one is next. This is from the producer of Wild Horse. This is Paso Robles, Blau Frankish. This is a 2018 finish one. Stay tuned and I'll talk about the solving one. So a very small production from Wild Horse. So here you go now, Blau Frankisch uh, by Wild Horse. And so this is under a 500 case production, 13.5% ABV, here's the back label. And the back label says that this wine has been produced since 1997 and it has nine months of aging in French and Hungarian oak. And this is something that I think for Saul speaks volumes for Paso Robles. You're gonna see a lot of wine varieties, a great diversity than say other wine regions in California. So it definitely supports it. It produces a beautiful, uh, gorgeous wine. And uh, I think it's something to you know seek out in the future. It's distinct properties I think go nicely with food, but also to enjoy on its own. You'll find it in other states in the United States, such as Colorado, Pennsylvania, New York, Virginia, and Washington state. So I've seen it in Washington state and on many other states known as Lemberger. And uh, probably because it's easier to pronounce without an umlaut above the A in Blau Frankisch. And um, I definitely like the name Blau Frankisch, meaning from the German would mean Blue Frank. Now you, obviously you're gonna find this in Austria. You'll find this in Croatia, Slovakia, and Czech Republic known as Frank Kovka. I remember that name itself because that's the bottle I picked up. So a couple of bottles actually in Slovakia as well as Czech Republic. Uh, so this is also known is uh, Burgund Mare in Romania. So it's widely spread in the area. Uh, beautiful acidity to this wine. So this is very different from the Central and Eastern European Bla Frankish wines than the US styles. And I think it has to do with style, winemaking style versus the actual region. And I think that's a different characteristic. It might be both actually, but um, the curiosity of this is that the parent grape, we only know one parent grape of this wine is Gloé Blanc. Gloé Blanc is also a parent to say Chardonnay. And so it has uh, created a lot, it's been a parent to many a grape. It comes from Croatia and uh, there's a few acres, hectares planted, but very, very few. It's very rare. I've never tasted it. And I would love to taste this wine because it has been so influential. And uh, so here we go with this wine. So this is very, very nice with um, bean cherry notes, early season red cherry notes, as well as earthy notes, a bit of mushroom quality to this, as well as violets and um, dried herbs. Very nicely done. Next to the palate characterization. So red cherry note, it's a rich wine very nicely, satisfyingly rich, but not over the top. So additional notes on this would be pomegranate, a bit of mushroom quality, hint of game, as well as red pepper and dried herbs. Now this is a 93 point wine. Enjoy this with richness of proteins, of cheeses, salumi. You can enjoy this with, um, you know, maybe paprika chicken. There's a lot of things to enjoy and celebrate this wine with. Down below, you'll find more information on the producer. You'll also find more information on Steve Sherman Business Law down below, who is the sponsor. You know, give a like, that's where you're gonna find the like button is, so thank you so much. I do appreciate that in advance. And also, you can subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't done so already, you'll see the latest videos that I'm producing. And if you already have, thank you very much and cheers to you. And I will see you in the next video. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress between video shoots, as well as my podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thank you so much for watching today. I do appreciate it. Sante.